Hello everyone, Baron Cross here from SoundHealthSolution.com and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to have a brief talk about otitis media, also known as middle ear infection, along with its clinical features and treatment options. But before we move on to the main video, do like and subscribe to our channel as more interesting videos are along the way. So is your child constantly tugging and pulling his ear and complaining how it hurts? Well, it's possible that he's suffering from otitis media. Otitis media, or middle ear infection, is the most common infection in children, as studies show that five out of six children will have at least one ear infection by their third birthday. So what is otitis media and how does it occur? Otitis media is an inflammation of the middle ear cleft, that is, the eustachian tube, middle ear cavity, mastoid antrum, and mastoid air cells. It is caused by various types of bacteria, depending on the age of the patient and the type of infection. Now let's talk about what causes otitis media. The middle ear is connected to the throat by a small tube called the eustachian tube. It's protected from the outside by a thin shield called the tympanic membrane. Viruses and bacteria that normally live in the throat can sometimes cross into the middle ear through the eustachian tube, causing an infection. Other causes include common cold, exposure to secondhand smoke, barometric trauma, having a cleft palate, and so on. When the infection is sudden in onset and short in duration, the diagnosis is acute otitis media. When the infection lasts more than three months, the condition is called chronic otitis media. But how do you know your child has otitis media? Let's move on now to some clinical features of otitis media. Sudden acute pain in the ear and this may awaken the child crying or screaming from his sleep. Another feature includes feeling of fullness in the ear and hearing loss that could be conductive, mild to moderate. Tinnitus bubbling sounds are also heard in the ear. Other symptoms also include fever and malaise in children. Otoscopy reports might show red, congested and bulging tympanic membrane. Ear discharge, or otorrhea, and relief of pain after perforation of the eardrum are other peculiar features of otitis media. Treatment of otitis media depends upon the severity of the disease. Some of the possible treatment options include antibiotics, which should be started as soon as possible and continued for 7 to 10 days. Decongestants. Nasal decongestants may improve the drainage of the middle ear through the eustachian tube. Antibiotic ear drops containing chloramphenicol, neomycin, and sulfamycin, which is given after the rupture of the tympanic membrane. The ear discharge must be cleared by dry mopping with cotton buds or may be sucked out. Under severe condition, ear surgery might be required. Myringotomy is an incision made in the tympanic membrane to release fluid under pressure in the middle ear. All in all, otitis media is a treatable and preventable disease. Well, that's it for today guys. Hope you found this video informative and for more health videos, stay tuned. I'll see you next time.